Hello and welcome to Summer Nights YouTube Hop. We are a team of artists from across the globe hopping along to inspire you all to create. Do check out the rules from the description box below and win prizes from our amazing sponsors. As summer nights seems to be the perfect season to do this project here in India for which I have chosen to upcycle this lamp which is one of the oldest pieces from my garden decor. So let's see how this piece got a makeover into a dreamy lamp decor perfect for a patio. I call it make a wish with a number bar to count those wishes and write them in. There's a fairy with stars and a door of the lamp which says may there be an angel always by your side. So let's get started. Since this piece is from the garden it has absorbed a lot of dust so I'm gonna remove all the hardware and dust clean it with a dry brush and once taken off all the dust I'm gonna give it a nice clean with a wet wipe later on followed by methylated spirit and a vinegar wash and ensure that all the dust and grease has been taken off So I've chosen to work with this beautiful paper by Stamperia, which is called Make a Wish. And I'm gonna take this night dreamy fairy with stars and put it on the inlay. But before that, I'm taking these Tampo Maxi Stamperia soft molds and I'm gonna create a rope texture impression from the same using Momart air hardening clay. You can use any soft clay uh, which air hardens. And I'm using this rope pattern which I'm gonna later stick to the bottom of the lamp. I'm using Stamperia Cola Extra Fort which uh, is a very strong glue to adhere onto metal or any kind of surface. And I'm gonna glue it down at the bottom of the lamp. And once this dries, I'm gonna color this over. So meanwhile, the clay dries, I'm taking these texture impression soft molds and I'm taking glossy gel by Stamperia. And I'm gonna add the glossy gel into the mold and let it dry so this one i've prepared already and just i'm peeling this piece out of the mold you see how nice and soft this is so these molds can be used in many ways one of the way to use it is with the glossy gel It remains flexible and can be used on any shape or base and I'm trimming down the sides which are extra and I plan to put it on the roof of the lamp here like this I'm gonna position it and later I'm gonna trim out the sides This is the beauty of the lace mold which I've chosen. There are many molds uh, from Stamperia which 
are equally beautiful. Now this piece is dried and I'm coloring it in color white. I'm using acrylics here and I've mixed a little texture paste into the acrylics to make it thick. I'm going to carefully color all sides. I'm sealing the window glass panes with the masking tape and I'm taking the heavy body piece by Stamperia and mixing micro stones and stand into it to create a texture and I'm gonna cover it with a texture paste over the entire piece so this is gonna leave nice grainy textures to the piece which will be highlighted when we color them. So meanwhile the roof part dries, I'm going to color the bottom part for which I'm using Stamperia Aqua Colors including some iridescent aqua colors as well. So splash time. First of all, I'm adding color noir. The black color to give a night effect to 
the lamp and then I'm using the leaded tone the leaded tone which is Curio and then I'm using the color turquoise I'll be using hints of a uh, word the green iridescent word and iridescent orange i really like how these iridescent colors change the entire look as they dry here's how it looks as it dried i've taken off the masking tape and cleaned the piece and i've stuck the remaining two lace tops and i'll clean the glass So here I have trimmed down this paper with the fairy which is going to come on one window. The reason I chose rice paper is that uh, it's going to show through once the bulb uh, lights through and the lamp is going to remain intact. So the rice paper will help me maintain the transparency of the glass windows of the lamp and let's glue down the paper to the windows so my plan is to put the fairy on one glass and uh, there's the same paper has some numbers which are 1 to 14 which we plan to make a wish and put your wishes inside the lamp and um, this is gonna go as a gift So I'm gluing down one one side the fairy very carefully.
Next, there's some quotations uh, from the print which I saved or which I'm taking cards to. I pasted them and I'll cut them down. And uh, later I'm gonna create a layout and them somewhere on the lamp. Just to ensure that it's good level. So there's another quotation about dreams. Colored it all four sides on the top, and it is still wet. I've used uh, these colors, and uh, this is how it looks right now. So I've painted the stand and a mix of uh, green and blue and yellow, and I'm later going to highlight in gold. And meanwhile, I'm going to embellish this a little with a floral leafy lace and later I'll embellish it with some florals as well so I'm gonna just bring it round goes inside
just throwing in some glass beads some star miniatures these are gonna show through as the bulb lights and there's a wish bottle and the door has a moon dangler and this is how our make a wish lamp dream lamp has turned out thank you so much for watching hope you liked the tutorial Ciao for now and may there be an angel always by your side.